Uh, now, it's I'm not sure if it's going to be an issue since you got uh, motherboard standoffs, which actually raises the motherboard. So the actual clearance is going to be higher than uh, what was it? I think it was 22 millimeters. Uh, so it shouldn't be a problem. If not, I still have uh, slim 12 uh, millimeter, 120 millimeter fans. 12 millimeters the depth or width. So that should fit. Although I mean, having a fan here, I don't know why I'm t talking so much about this. It's not actually a really big deal, but I just like the fact that it has something to exhaust the hot air out of the back or bring cool air in. It's just, it just there, there have been a couple of cases uh, implementing that, but that's the first that I've ever owned, so I find it interesting. Uh, yeah, that's about that. Yeah, okay. I was talking about removing the side panel. Let's just do that. Okay, they're almost screw tightened. Just bear with me a second. Again, apologies for my amateurish camera work. It's really the first thing, uh, the first I've ever done one of these. So, and ju just to clar clarify, I make Gran Turismo 5 videos on YouTube. Basically, that's pretty much all I'll do, except for a couple of old uh, videos from my ferrets. Uh, yeah, that's funny. Uh, so yeah, I've just thought I'd put this in, introduce the guys to, well, this isn't casual computing, and it's extreme, like everything's going to be water cold, well, when I say everything, yeah, I mean, the chipset, the graphic card, the CPU, all the good stuff. So let me see if it, yeah, oh, this came out a lot easier than the other side panel. So, you can see the amount of cable management, well, amount of space you have there for cabling. Let me just grab the ruler again. And uh, this, is, uh, this is just uh, almost to 23, 24 millimeter. That's about an inch. It's plenty, trust me. I mean, I've worked with cases that have half of that and uh, didn't have much problem in it. But uh, yeah, the, the problem is the case is so tall when you put a bottom mount of power supply. Well, you want to route the cables, so for the extension for the uh, CPU supplementary power, it goes all the way up here, and the cable is probably going to be short, but that's not an issue since also from performancepieces.com, I've uh, bought several uh, extensions, which are basically braided cables for pretty much everything, uh, even the 4-pin power connectors and SATA connectors and uh, 24-pin. 8 pin, 6 pin, eight. all of it, they're all uh, braided, so it looks good. I mean, it's come on, it's an extreme system. You don't want me to just use exposed wires, do you? Well, maybe you do, but uh, yeah, it looks of, looks is a lot of is of a lot of significance to me and well, to a lot of. Well, I like to consider myself a extreme builder, so there we are. And yeah, so two two hundred and forty millimeter red LED fans. And the front intake, uh, just to say that uh, I'm going to replace all of the fans in this case. Uh, let me just turn it around for a better view. But yeah, taking another good look at the back, the water grommeting options, not water grommeting, uh, uh, cable routing grommeted options, and the back of the Velcro strap for the PSU. Let me just turn it around again. It's surprisingly not that heavy. I mean, I think it's about 36 pounds, but uh, well, when you mount everything in it and fill it with water, it's gonna be a lot heavier. So yeah, I was talking about the fans. You got uh, one, two, three. I believe they're identical. Hundred and uh, so there's one, two, three. There's uh, they're identical. 140 millimeter fans. Great for airflow, especially. Uh, in the case is this. I, I won't necessarily need airflow inside the case as the chip, even the chipset's getting water cooled. But yeah, it's a nice gesture. Uh, you get two, as I said again, 140 millimeters of red LEDs, the same as the ones at top and the same as the one on the side panel. Sadly, they're all going to be replaced. I bought, I've forgotten the exact model, but they're Yate Loons. 2200 uh, RPM, 140 millimeter fans. Now you might say, well, you're gonna go deaf, and that's true because they, they're rated uh, 
uh, sound uh, pressure or sound uh, levels uh, those fans are 45 decibels and that's frankly quite loud so I'm getting a 12 channel fan controller and uh, also uh, from Skype or Scythe whatever you want to call it I haven't found the correct way to pronounce it yet so mounted probably here or here it doesn't matter the thing is that you're limited on the amount of a five and a quarter inch base you're gonna have up front you only have a place for four and uh, uh, so let's ba basically say uh, got one gonna be for fan controller two for the reservoir and pump they're gonna be combo I'll talk about that later in later videos maybe if, <clears throat> if I'm excuse me if I'm gonna make another one top uh, which is already loose maybe an you know, optical drive but uh, I don't really use them. I can always use an external, but it's a nice thing to have. Uh, problem is going to be that the radiator is going to end right here, right here, if you can see it, yeah. And uh, it might block the cables and uh, whatever that might be there. And one more thing I should mention is the integrated. Uh, fan, it's not a fan controller. It's just a place you can plug your fans in. Now uh, you can. Add up to six fans. There, there is one at the top and one at the bottom. And so for a total of 12 fans, all the fans in the case can be connected, except maybe for this one, might be not too late. Anyways, I'm not gonna use those as I'm using high RPM fans, so they're all gonna be connected to the fan controller. Uh, yeah, so the radiator I've gone for for the top is. Uh, phobia, yeah, phobia something. <laughs> I've forgotten the name, but it's a 60 millimeter thick uh, radiator, so they're, they're about as good as they get. Uh, yeah, I, oh, yeah, the, the front panel cables. Let me just untie them. Hope you're not scared of hairy hands or arms, for that matter. There we go. Uh, USB 3 uh, internal sadly I won't be needing that mm, maybe with an extension I can uh, route it to the back of the SR2 I'm not sure if it has USB 3 at the back uh, yeah I mean it's kind of weird I mean I've, I've known pretty much everything about the motherboard uh, not knowing that it has a USB back a USB uh, 3 ports at the back is kind of weird there we are so this, uh, I assume it's either for the fans, uh, it's a 4 pin Molex, let me see what it's connected to. Again, kind of difficult with one hand. So yeah, this goes all the way up to the front panel. Oh, uh, it's probably for the uh, docking bay, the SATA, it's probably for that. Uh, Supplements the power to that. Which is good. I just noticed something came off. Notice if your power supply is a good single panel, you have two bays to install. It. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Power supply fan facing the bottom. Yeah, about facing the bottom. This case, uh, although good for the price, I mean, really good for the price. It's, good. it's great value, but uh, let me just lie it down. On. The problem, I've read a couple of reviews, and the problem most of the people have with this is that the uh, bottom, or basically anywhere in the case, uh, dust filtering is at best poor, really. There's none at the front, it's just a mesh panel. It's not going to keep the dust out. And uh, if we can... Let's get the fresh out, okay. There's uh, one sheet of whatever this material is yeah it's a uh, mesh really and uh, I'm not I'm not gonna bother removing it right now as uh, yeah I heard something about uh, well not something but uh, it, it, it let's just put it this way that this case could use better air filtering I mean in a case like this the amount of airflow you're gonna have Dust is going to be an issue un unless you're living in a lab or some sort. 